Hello here guys, this is Guamden, our English commentator here, um, of Dawn of War. Uh, be glad that the hero is not my, me playing like, so uh, it's a bit of a, maybe see some decent play here. <laughs> um, I got a Chaos guy here called Needless Inba, I'm guessing that's a Smurf account or something. Um, got a guy, as Tau, he's USA War Whore. I said I just pull these off a uh, website like, so um, I, I'm not really sure like if these guys are any good or not. I just like matches I pull off the thing, and of course I, I don't even know if the matches are going to be great like because I actually you know I don't watch them beforehand obviously because I don't want to spoil the result like well for myself mainly like you know because I won't be able to react to it correctly like but um so we'll see the tie guy he's I look say he's going to go for an early frostbit squad which is quite I find it quite hard to deal with his kills because like they're just so nasty and like if uh, if you happen to be away from your base, you, the, the, with that their skill they have, which um, I'm not sure what it's called, like uh, devastation skill or something, I know it's like double damage against builds. They can really do some really some nice harass on your builds. Like, in fact, I don't want to say it's imbalanced, like, but you know, because usually when people say it's imbalanced, usually it just means the player's shit. But um, I don't. I, I just I just think it's a bit unfair that like they're like the only people who have any real decent sort of anti building, anti vehicle, well building, sorry, stuff in tier one. So it seems a bit unfair. But um, the chaos guy, that's pretty weird actually, he went for a uh, side at the start. Usually I, I wouldn't get side, but I suppose, he, oh, well, I suppose it's a good tactic actually, because he knows he's going to be fighting a uh, stealth unit, or stealth suits like, so he'd be able to, you know, spot them very quickly in the middle of the match. Like, usually I would just go chaos lord and just be quite clever from a uh, aspect use, but obviously he thinks this is going to be needed like. It's pretty weird, he seems to be going for some sort of uh, cultist for us like, which is pretty unheard of. Well, for me anyway, um, the fast position coming in here, gonna totally ass rip the uh, cultists here, but um, he's got some raptors coming in here to back him up, like so. I'm not sure who'd win that fight, but um, that's as I said, the fast guy won't even give chase, like he'll just leg it. Uh, he, yeah, he's just gonna try and just harass, like kind of seems kind of pointless, like at the moment he's not doing any significant thing. And I see the chaos player going for another raptor squad here, so she'd be able to like he'd be looking to do some sort of harass himself, like you know, lots of melee damage and. Keep jumping around and be able to just uh, have a large mobility advantage to him. Surprisingly enough, here we see the chaos player like just harassing a style suit here. Like uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. Like I suppose the, the yeah the cultist guy could take him out. Like because um, yeah style suit it just has the advantage of being invisible. Like which is pretty good advantage earlier on. Like without having to research it. Um, looks like the fast squad is going to be pretty useless here. Like with the Raptor squad uh, fighting them off, and then another one coming out. In fact, I think he's already got it out. The other one must be, yeah, he's going to use those to harass. Like, this is a pretty good idea, like, because the one squad of Raptors is quite able to tie up with the Fastwood squad, so he can harass with the other one, like, and it sort of shows good Marco on his part that he's able to do that quite well. Well, I haven't actually seen it yet, like, but I'm assuming he can do it quite well. Yeah, so he's chasing them as off, and he's got the Tau Commander in battle. Maybe the Tau players, uh, Marco isn't the best. Oh, he's got him away now, so that's not too bad. Um, could be capping that point, I suppose, uh, if he was paying more attention. But as I said, like I can't really criticize because I'm crap myself. Like, but it's just, you know, if you if you watch so much StarCraft, like you know, it's sort of like any inefficiency is a potential problem. But um, I don't think at this level of the game, this of this game, it's a big problem. That's a big issue at all. Like, um, so just got this guy chasing one squad. He's got reinforced six chasing the fastest squad here. They seem to be. Taking a bit of damage, like he's going after uh, heretics, like which the heretics are quite easy to take out. Like they're pretty low hit points, and most times they have very little hit points because they're people use force labor on them to get their bones like quicker, which I do miss off. Like looks like that heretic will go down. Actually, no, got him right. Oof. Nice job, actually, because the guy's only got one fast bit left, so that's pretty damn nasty. Like looks like he's wants their scalp. He's not gonna let him get away. Like oh Jesus, it'd be funny if they died to the cultist squad. Like that'd be an epic fail. <laughs> Uh, right, so we got the other Raptor squad here chasing off the Tau Commander. Like these, like Tau Commander's got good hit points though, and they got Cultist squads coming in here. It's kind of funny, like he's, he's using these Cultist squads so well. Like considering like my last video, I was saying how shit Cultists are, like but it just shows you like um, what you can actually do with them. Like it's a, mostly because the fact that they, you know, with, with the sight, they can uh, do a lot of damage, and they just what the fuck happened there? I was insane. <laughs> it's like all three of them died, and it was like some sort of sink kill or something. Uh, we'll see. Um. The Tau Warriors being of uh, Chaos Warriors being, which is fucking Tau Fire Warriors, like they're so nasty. Like, I mean, like they just they're like they're like walking. They start off with plasma, like which, as anyone knows, like with uh, plasma against heavy infantry is just insanely good. Like, so they're they're serious, uh, serious problem for the Chaos player to deal with. Like, 
but I, I think he's done quite well here. The fact that like he's he's um, the chaos player seems quite well prepared for fighting the tower opponent. He's as I said, like he's obviously he obviously knew he was fighting the tower by going uh, going safe with his cultists, like so he was dealing with the stealths early on, and he's he's went more for raptors rather than chaos first marines because um, the Tau fire warriors they're absolutely useless in melee. Like so, if he keeps them in combat and keeps them on the back foot, the fire warriors won't be as quite as useful as they probably should be. See, so he's got the phosphors out again. Um, well, he's got them reinforced. Sorry, uh, he's running around just, just, just trying to do harassment. Maybe more just scouting rather than anything else, like because he's not going to be able to achieve anything. Like, there's an absolutely horrendous horde of raptors chasing them. Like, those wee bastards have to run for their lives, and they're going to be taken out. So he seems quite confident. He hasn't, he hasn't reinforced the fire warriors. Like, I'm not sure if that's because of more of a financial issue rather than like um, any sort of tactical reason for it. Like, but um. They're not going to do very much. Like I just feel like uh, watching this now is like um, even with two raptor squad or two uh, fire war squads and like a Fespa squad, like these raptors are just going to run right through them. Like you know, he, especially if he has um thing upgraded, like speed upgraded, he'll just he'll just like it'll just be like it'll just be uh, a charge of death, and he'll just like he'll just see the tower just like separated uh, amongst the harass of or the monster charge, like it'll just be totally devastated. That was a bit uh, random, like, but whatever. Um, he's got, he's actually got the Call of the Squad maxed out to ten dudes. Like, I'm, that's quite surprising. Like, I would, I, as I keep saying, I hate Call of the Second. I, I wouldn't even waste money on them. Like, the, the twenty resource for each one of them to do that. So here we go. We got the big charge coming. He jumped in. He jumped in uh, on top of the fire warriors. The fire warriors are in deep shit here. Like, cause, as I said, like they can't do anything melee. So they're basically useless at this point. The tower commander's getting messed up in the middle of that. Um, he's pretty low. He's about half hit points at the moment. Uh. The fastest squads is going down pretty quick. Uh, even the cultists get in there. That's a good idea. Like the, as I said, making making me look like a noob again. The cultist squads tied up the fire warrior squad and they've actually just like helped them eliminate that squad. So uh, as I've predicted, like the raptors have just totally raped the fire warriors. Like they just they didn't, I don't even think they even got a shot off to be honest. Like uh, it was probably like quite a stupid play. Like you know, to be honest, like at this stage of the game, you know, your entire player probably should have seen like you know he's seen like uh, the chaos guy was going so strong or uh, so much raptors like you know. Fire Wars weren't going to be the best. Like, to be honest, I don't really know much about um, much enough about Tau to suggest any sort of alternatives. Like, but um, it was just like I'm sure they have something else in the arsenal. Like, so I'm actually quite surprised here. The Raptor guy is actually sort of he's got like a stand still stance, um, whole ground stance. He's just like he's going, he's actually going ranged. This is quite strange for a thing. He must be just trying to get off the plasma, the plasma off the, off the Spiron Champion, and maybe just the Flame Force to break the morale. As you can see, he has broke some morale. So he, after the tower players got the protection of the listening post level two, so he's the chaos guy's backing off here. As I said, raptors seem to take a bit uh, fairly long to destroy buildings like. Um, so pretty much, the tower's in the back foot here. Chaos guy, I'm pretty sure he's got the um, majority of the map. In fact, he has. He's got the thing. He's got the thing countdown on. Um, the critical point countdown on, and the uh, tower guy just took a bit of a beating there, and he's chaos guy starting to press his advantage here by doing some more damage to the comedy. Yeah, they, they both have the same economy like at the moment, like which is pretty surprising. Actually, I thought the chaos guy would have had a bit better, like considering you know he was doing a bit more for us, and he's obviously got the guy in the back foot. Oh, so we got another jump in here. Um, Raptor jumping in again, and obviously another ripping off the uh, two fire wars about to happen here. I'm assuming. Uh, good stasis trap. Um, stasis trap down there, like so that's, that slows the chaos guy even with the speed down. They're moving super slow, like. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fire wars are gonna have to run here. They're running back to the protection of the uh, listening post here, so they're gonna need that because they're getting pretty raped again. Not sure who's that. No, oh, just a fire war getting raped in the middle there. Um, fire wars set up again, ready to fire, but the chaos guys are already out of the battle. Like you know, it was just like the fire wars just useless in this year. Like I think, like seriously, they're just doing nothing. So it looks like the tower boy is getting some stealth guys again. He's building some plasma plants, like and a path to enlightenment. I'm surprised he's actually got that. Nah, he seems that seems pretty late. Like you know, he must he must have spent a lot of money on uh, troops. I suppose he has because he's been taking quite nice kicking from the raptors, like. He's had to use a lot of re requisition for uh, reinforcements, but um, that is, that's quite a late uh, path to enlightenment. I I would say I'm not an expert on Tau, but um, I'm not an expert on any of them. But it seems pretty late. This is pretty much the equivalent of the Chaos Armory, I suppose. And that's, that's, he's obviously got his out already. He's actually upgrading the fist, I and mean, you know you can see he's got plasma and sword for quite some time. Uh, guy's taking up more thing, doing more damage to your man's economy, which is actually down to 98. So it, he ha he is suffering a bit there. Uh, he's moving his fire wars in. I'm sure you'll see these raptors uh, jump into the fire wars or just exit to the right after taking that out, of course. No, he's, he's standing there. He's still happening. He's being quite bold. It's a good idea, like, you know, because he's part of the comedy even more and costing him time. Oh, he's taking a few shots, like. 
Uh, yeah, so that's he's gonna jump out. Yeah, so you kept it and run it. That's a good tactic. Um, his comedy is gonna suck. Like it's down to 74. Like as I said, like a minute ago, I was, it was up to 116 or whatever it was, and I was like flipping a fir uh, two thirds of it. Um, see the cultist ten up the fire warriors like which is pretty funny. Like he's actually he's got that on Overwatch, funny enough. So he he obviously he's quite eager to uh, keep those cultists alive and make make the best use of them. Like even as I said, even though I wouldn't I wouldn't be persistent with them like. So we got, the, we got the fire warriors out here. The, he doesn't seem to be reinforcing them, as I keep saying. Like he just seems to be just trying to keep them at a level three. Although he does seem to be reinforcing it now, funny enough, at the up to whatever uh, three five units or whatever. But as I say, I, as I say, like I, I'm I'm really thinking this is a bad tactic by him. He just he keeps sticking to fire warriors, even though they've proven themselves in the past. And in fact, he got the GG coming from him there, so he, like obviously he knows he's not going to win this match. Although there is a few minutes left in the video. Um, so even he keeps going for fire wars, even though it's quite apparent at this time. Like you know, he's 